Hello viewers. How are you? Today I'm teaching you how to make a customized birthday card in Scratch. This card will have two parts. First part will just come on the screen in the beginning and the second part will come after a button is clicked. So there will be some interactivity in the card and this will make it very exciting for your loved ones. So let's start. First we will just click on create to make a new project. So just remove Scratchy the cat and we have to set a stage, the background. So we will just go to choose a backdrop and we will be typing here party and this is a nice one with balloons all behind it. Now we need some text here. We will just go to choose a sprite but we will not be choosing one. We will be actually painting one. This will be our message and we will be writing down something here. So this looks like a cute message. I have used the curly font to write this message and I had given it a light purple color. You can change the color and you can change the message to whatever you want. And now we are going to animate it. We are going to add some code to make it jiggle or move or change color, whatever you want. Everything starts in scratch when flag is clicked. So I will put this block here. And then I will go to looks because I want to manipulate or change its looks. So I will be using the looks blocks from here. And what I will be doing is that I will be changing its whirl effect by 10. And then I will be adding weight 0.1 seconds and then duplicating it and then doing the opposite so it comes back to its previous position so basically it kind of twists and you know you can see something happening to the text i think it's the world is too much so i will be changing it to two and then reversing it to minus two now if i click the flag it only happens once what i want is that i want it to happen for a number of times so i will be using a repeat loop and i will be doing it about 30 times and now look you can see that it's moving a little bit and most important make sure that the stage is set to party because we will ha be having another stage so when the card is shown for the first time we want the party background to show okay and let's add some color effect to this uh, text too. So we will be doing it in another block that do the same things, but this time change the color effect, okay? And we don't really need the going back thing. And we will be changing the color effect by 25 okay so this looks good but you can see that our text is distorted because I had used the whirl effect uh, by 10 in the beginning and it never came back to its original position so there's a simple way to fix it you just go to looks and you clear the graphic effect so in the beginning just clear all the graphic effects So this looks nice. Now I want to add a cake here. So I will just go to choose a sprite again. I will search for a cake and I will choose this cake. Okay, put it maybe here. Increase the size to maybe 150, seems to be nice. Now let's look at the costumes. So these are the costumes, flame on, flame gone. And I'm going to show you how to animate these flames that they look actually moving that will be a cool trick so the thing is that we will just duplicate it okay so now we have two cakes with candles on and in the second costume i'm just going to choose this selection tool and just select the flame and just make it smaller now duplicate the second one with the smaller flames 
and then just make them further small make sure that you're selecting the flame and not the candle so if you just look at this okay, you can f feel that the flames are actually moving and now we will come to the code so everything starts with the event when flag is clicked and make sure that the costume is the default one which is switch costume to cake a and then in a forever loop we want the flames to move and we will be going to a to control and we will be using the forever loop and we will be switching between the different costumes first cake a2 a2 is the one where the flames are a little smaller then a delay of 0.1 seconds then just duplicate it three now duplicate it we have to come back to a2 duplicate it come back to a now look at this one it looks nice now we want to add some music to it so let's just go to sounds there's already the birthday music pre-selected whenever you choose the cake so just play that sound start sound birthday and make sure that it is showing also in the beginning because we will be hiding it when we go to the next screen remember that i did not add a forever loop for the text here it repeats 30 times and then it stops so what i want is that i want a button to show when it stops and let's first make that button just go to choose a sprite choose a button a pre built button we can change this sprite by going to costumes and we can write some text here so now i've written some text on the button and what i want is that when the code here stops i want the button to show so in the beginning the button is not showing okay so the event when flag is clicked it should just hide and we need to broadcast a message remember that we can broadcast messages from the events block to tell other sprites and other elements of your project that do something now okay so we are going to broadcast a message and the message is show button and then we want it to hide too because we don't want the text to show otherwise there's a lot of things on the screen and we want this button to show when it receives show button it should show itself so i hope you're getting it till now let's center it a little bit so in the events block we have this block here called when this sprite is clicked and that should take care of the event when this button is clicked and what should happen when this button is clicked we want the candles to blow out we need to add some sound to it let's go to sounds and there's a nice magic spell here i liked it a lot so i'm going to use that just go to sounds and start sound magic spell don't play it until it's done because otherwise it will wait for the music to play and then it will go on the next blocks and we need to send a message to the cake that blow out your candles okay so we will just go to events we will broadcast another message and that is blow out candles we will just hide it after this thing maybe after a delay of 0.2 seconds and when the cake receives the event it should shift its costume to the one where the candles are blown out we go inside control and we stop other scripts in this sprite so i want this script to stop and then it should switch costume to cake b because otherwise it's constantly inside this loop too so now let's do the second part of the screen it will be fairly simple as compared to this screen and we will do it quickly now so after a delay wait one second we want to broadcast a message that shows second part we need 
another sprite now this is an interesting bit because I will be using some images and text to make this sprite so I will be just writing happy birthday look at what I'm going to do now to make it more interesting we have some balloon sprites and a hat sprite already present in scratch and I will be using that to make this happy birthday message more interesting so I'm just going to go to choose a sprite choose a balloon from here choose another sprite choose a hat from here and I'm just going to go to costumes and I'm just going to select it by copying it and then I will be going to the happy birthday message and instead of these two P's I will just be giving it some gap for those two balloons and it's another one okay I'm done with this happy birthday message what I want is to get rid of these extra sprites that I used to make my happy birthday sprite and we need another backdrop for this happy birthday sprite again you can upload your own background okay and we come back to the code and when flag is clicked I want that this should not show and when it receives the event which event when I receive not blowout candles the show second part I should switch the backdrop remember we have to switch the backdrop to the hearts one show yourself and then we want it to change color inside the forever loop so we will go to looks and we will change color effect by 25 and I will be adding a little bit of delay and now I will be adding the confetti code here. I already have the confetti code in my backpack. You can put segments of codes or sprites in your backpack. So I put the confetti code already here and I will be using it here. I will be explaining the confetti code in some other class. Okay. You can use my confetti code in your projects because I will be sharing this project and you can just open my project up and just drag this confetti sprite here and you will have the confetti code. So this is the confetti code and I will just change this message to show second part because that is the part where the confetti should start falling. So let's add some music to the happy birthday sprite whenever it comes on the screen the music should start playing and there was a nice dance music here so I will just choose it first. Just dance around is nice. Just start the music when the happy birthday message comes on the screen okay another important thing is that a cake is still showing so we want the cake to hide and we'll just put the hide block here so let's give our final card a look this is very cute you can change your background and remove the hearts if you don't want the hearts so be creative have fun with scratch and do share my videos with your friends and family because all my classes are free thank you for watching goodbye